One of the things I love about my job is being able to share heartwarming, inspiring videos with you. This next video of a bride dancing with her terminally ill father was viewed over one million times last week. Take a look. The story behind that video, I knew I needed to meet the bride and her husband, Mary Bourne and James. We are in our audience. Come on down. Um, so, uh, first of all, that was so beautiful, thank and, you. and uh, thank you so much for being here. And so, um, you got married three weeks ago, right? December 29th. Okay, and you just posted it last week, though. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of been a whirlwind, but it's been a crazy yes, few it hasn't weeks. been out there long. We didn't post it. Um, we didn't even hire a videographer. My photographer just switched to the video mode, and then she uploaded it, I think, while we were on our honeymoon, and we came home and we're like, what has There's 12,000 views, and that's a lot of views, and we couldn't believe that a lot, everybody watched it, and then the next morning it was 35-ish, and we, we said to each other before we were headed up to work, it'll probably calm down at that. And then it just kept doubling over, doubling over, doubling over. Well, we couldn't it, believe it. It's beautiful. I mean, it really is beautiful. I don't know. You didn't seem to be crying. I know you and your dad planned from when you were a little girl that you were going to dance at your wedding. Yes. And then he, he was diagnosed. He got sick uh, yes, two years ago? Yes, May of 2017. Okay. And so when you were going to, uh, did you rush the wedding? You pushed it up so that you could have him there. We were ready to get married, but especially with that, kind of looming, we thought we shouldn't waste our time. And to us, everybody has their own opinions, but to us, we wanted to make sure no matter what, whether it was quick, short, and sweet, or a beautiful wedding like we were fortunate enough to have, we personally wanted to make sure he was there. Yeah. Um, whether so, we needed to have an impromptu wedding, if anything went bad, right. we were ready. And did you know and did he know you were going to dance like that with him? Not really. Um, me and, my dan me and my dad have always danced together, but the day of the wedding, after the ceremony, he went up to his hotel room because he was just a little tired. And we had our first dance, he had his dance with his mom, and then the day kind of went about. And then an hour or so later, he gets brought into the ballroom because he was ready, and it was so exciting. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. So, and, and that song is so beautiful anyway. Um, I mean, it must have been really emotional for you. And what was it like for you to watch that? I am very emotional all the time. And <laughs> I knew during the wedding, and her dad is a very, very emotional guy. Um, I was trying to not hide my tears, but, you know, show her that I was okay, because I didn't want to start a, a, you know, a downhill spiral. <laughs> well, I did a really good job all the way until that dance started, and I literally couldn't see anybody but them two, and it's, to this day, the most happy, beautiful memory I have, and I was crying, so if you, like, zoom in on me in the video, I'm just tearing up back mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah, really and, bad. What about you? Well, I told my mom, I'm surprised I didn't cry because composure is not my middle name. Mm -hmm. I'm um, far from that. So I think with just the hustle bustle of the day and my wedding planner going, it's time to cut a cake, it's time to take these pictures, your dad showed up, it's time to do the dance. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Yep. And I have done a little bit of dancing with him, but I told him, I'll take care of it, you don't worry about it. Yeah. Because he was still s able to stand in August. So, yes. so that was something that you just all of a sudden pushed him around, which it was just yes. beautiful. And I know <laughs> that he passed away last week. And, yes. and how's the family doing now? It's been difficult. It's been a week as of today. Um, so it has been a really crazy few weeks. Um, but one thing that we've just been so appreciative of 
you and your show is that this has given us something to laugh about and smile about and keep us kind of preoccupied and really joyful. And um, it's been tough, but this part of the process has definitely made it a little bit easier. Well, that's, that's great to hear. That's, um, Thank you. I know. <laughs> so your mom is in the audience, and I know that, that he was a fan of the show. You were a fan, so you all watched together. We did, and it gave him uh, something to look forward to in the afternoons to make him laugh. And he was such a, a big-hearted guy and loved to laugh and had a big heart. So he felt a, a little kindred spirit with you. Uh, Y'all are both very positive, and he was always that way. Well, um, I am sure he's here with us right now yeah. with so much love in this room and talking about him and thinking about him. So the show is dedicated to him today. This Thank week. you so, so much. Um, and I have a gift for you after this. We'll be right back. Okay, so you moved from... Where were you living? We were living in my hometown of Greensboro, North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then you moved to Alabama to care for your dad. Yep, we got the phone call in May 2017 that he was... A tumor was found. It takes the diagnosis to happen until after the brain surgery. So we found out he had a tumor. Not sure what the prognosis was. Um, but I looked at James and I was like, I don't think I want to come back. Especially, I went home for the surgery right. and to see how invasive well, we a both brain went surgery, for the surgery is. And she, yeah. she kind of just said, Hey, I'm staying here. And I said, Hey, I'll finish the bills and I'll come right after you. Yeah. So we moved probably a month or two after the surgery. Okay. So and we've you're... been in Alabama just down the street from my parents trying to help out as much as possible. Right. Well, I'm sure your mom appreciates that. I'm sure that's mm -hmm. a that's a, a, g a gift to have you here. Um, and what's the, what's next for y'all? What are you doing? Um, <laughs> Big question mark. It, the last three weeks have been so crazy. We're, we need to slow down and kind of think about it. But for now, we're going to stay in Alabama with my family. I've got four siblings and tons of nieces and nephews. So we've got just a great community and support system. So we'll stay there. Will you buy a house there? or We will. We'd That's love the to goal. save up and start yes. a family and buy a house back in Alabama where my family is. Great. Well, we have a, an early, uh, a, a, well, it's not an early, it's a, it's a gift for you. And um, I told my friends at Cheerios how, how much love that you have brought into the world with this video, and they want to give you $25,000 to help. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! What? Thank you! You're welcome. Thank you! Oh, my God! Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Help!